Hello everyone, welcome to the Comexis Cast Daily. All the news you need to know from our inbox to yours. Today we're talking about Google's new speed update to their algorithm. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Matthew McGordy, the videographer and podcaster here at Comexis, and today I am joined by the lead strategist at Comexis, Philip Brooks. Hello. Hello. So today we're talking about Google's speed update. So a long, long time ago in January of 2018, uh, back when we were all a little a little more bright A little more, a little more naive. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, we, uh, we covered uh, the Google speed update, something that they had announced was going to be hitting in July, and here we are in July and it has hit. Um, so the Google speed update was basically meant to be a speed update that focused on a couple of things when we talk about mobile search rankings. Uh, so for example, you know, it was basically going to affect the slowest of the slow mobile web pages. If you used an AMP page, uh, you would have it be ranked as the same thing as if somebody else was using a canonical uh, URL page for their mobile page as well. So just so you guys know. So it's all about, you know, how fast these sites are loading. Um, so one of the things that's really important to know about this is that, um, um, if your site is slow and you have really great content on your site, you not necessarily going to be hit nearly as hard yeah. as just a slow site. I, that's I, I, slow. Think, I think the important thing to remember here is that all things being equal, content still wins yes. out in, in a situation. But remember that if you do have a situation where you know the value of the content by whatever metric that Google's <laughs> using to measure them, if you have content that's on a similar par, but one site loads significantly slower, you're going to find that the rankings on that site are going to be lower than they are on, on the site that's, again, all things being equal. And that's a purely hypothetical statement, but it's essentially the way it's intended to work. Yeah, absolutely. And we, we've talked a lot before about you know making sure that your content is really good for Google search rankings, and in general, just making sure your content's really good. Uh, so we've talked a lot about that in terms of you know featured snippets, uh, rich snippets, all those good things. So I'll leave links to those in the blog, as well as links to all this information. A lot of this is coming from Barry Schwartz. Rich so Snippets is my Twitter handle. Just so Ooh, you know. Really? No, I, oh, that's a good one. You sure yeah, going down. Sure, yeah. um, so a lot of this is coming from Barry Schwartz on uh, Search Engine Land. Uh, he had a great FAQ of some some interesting information for people who are more interested in, in the more technical SEO of some of this stuff. So I'll also link that if you're interested. But for now, for those of you who aren't as SEO savvy, we have you know some nice nice summaries about this. So one of the things. Um, that is also something to consider is that you know if your site is super super slow, um, which I suspect most people's sites aren't going to be that slow, yeah. right? Um, it's something to keep in mind that speed isn't the only factor that Google ranks on, uh, other than you know content, which we just talked about. One of the things it also ranks on is search query relevancy. So if you have something that's super relevant, or if somebody's you know typing in your name, you're not suddenly just going to not rank anymore yeah. on there. So nothing to super worry about there. Either. But just remember, that speed is one of many ranking yes. factors, and it's just one that, uh, with the, with the the transition to a more mobile friendly web, uh, speed becomes a much more important ranking factor. Um, of course, obviously, we have no idea how they're weighted in those ranking yeah. factors. But again, Google has stated over and over again that speed is a big part of what they're doing uh, algorithmically. Excuse me, for that ranking factor. So just again, it, it, it behooves you to make sure that your site is mobile friendly and loads loads within that window. So again, use the Google speed test or mm -hmm. to check it. Um, but there's a lot of factors that go into it. So I would, again, if, you, if you're looking for, you know, uh, marquee ranking factors, or, excuse me, rank, keyword rankings for your own stuff, like mm -hmm. you're still going to be fine. Yeah, absolutely. And one of the things that Philip actually mentioned uh, on one of our other episodes last week uh, was that, you know, Google AMP is something that's really cool and important, and hopefully more people sort of use it. Uh, one of the things Google, for those of you who don't know, Google Accelerated Mobile Pages are just sort of stripped down pages that load content really fast, and they're designed for the mobile web. Um, if you have one of those as your mobile site, and somebody else has a canonical URL, which I mentioned earlier, and it's slower, uh, you'll do better, and this this won't affect you at all, and and stuff like that. Yeah. So it's just something to keep in mind. Yeah. And remember, that's that's for content pages, so yes. like you know, a blog post, something like that, and you wouldn't. Use an AMP page for your home page. Yeah. Hopefully not. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, that would not be a good idea. <laughs> uh, so just something to keep in mind if you are trying to get your site speed in general faster, not just your home page speed. Uh, something to keep in mind, you know, if you have a bunch of blogs or anything like that, Google AMP, not a bad avenue for that. It's a um, good idea to diversify. You yeah. know, pick some of the, the stuff that you find that's the best performing, 
try throwing some of those in the amp just mm -hmm. to see. Um, do some A-B testing with it, but I would definitely suggest that your higher performing content I would throw in the amp, the stuff that you're the most proud of, to get that out there, and I think you'll see, you'll be pleased with the results. Absolutely, and if you're interested in, in seeing how an amp page looks, you've first off probably already seen them, but also our blog uh, is all amp pages for the most part, uh, so if you're looking at this episode, it should be an amp page on your mobile site, on our mobile site, on your mobile web browser. There you go. So check it out sometime. Uh, and that's, I mean, I think that's basically it. Unless you have any final comments on no, that. No, I, I think, you know, again, this is something that we've sort of gone over a lot and, mm -hmm. and, and, and at Infinitum, really. It's something that we've talked about a great deal and because it is an extremely important ranking factor. And, and again, you know, Google is always very mystical about how mm -hmm. much it means, but they have said that they have definitely come out and said that it is important, the, the degree to which we don't know for certain. But if they're going to tell you that, then it, it behooves you to listen. Yeah, exactly. So. Well, thank you, everybody, for tuning in to today's episode of the Comexus Cast. Check us out next time for more. You can tune us, you can check us out on and listen to us on the Apple iTunes Store, the Google Play Mobile Store, the Google Podcasts app, the our SoundCloud, our, on TuneIn, on Stitcher, and those are all the audio ones. If you want to watch us, you can check us out on Facebook, YouTube, and IGTV for the full show, and Instagram, and Twitter, and LinkedIn for some nice little snippets with some, with some nice visuals there. So check us out there as well. And of course, you can always check us out on our blog, kmxs.com slash blog, and see all of our shows and all of our backlogs, etc., etc. Well, thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in, and have a great day.